Today I'll give a demonstration on how to use an ultrasonic cleaner for a modern handgun. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. Now the specific gun that I chose for this demonstration is a third generation Glock 19 pistol and the reason I chose it is because this particular Glock is very filthy right now. Uh, before I field strip it and show you that, let me just show you there is no magazine in it and there is nothing in the firing chamber. We're all clear and safe. And I'm not going to go into all details here in this video on how to disassemble a Glock. I have videos already on that. There are some of my oldest videos on the channel actually. So look down there in the description for links and I'll show them to you. Now let's take a look first in this slide. You can see there is just tons of dust and up in here there's lots of just grease build up and there's old powder residue build up. It is just absolutely filthy. Every part of this gun is filthy. That's why I pulled it out and decided this one would be good. Well, actually, the bore looks pretty nice, but everything else, pretty bad. Have a look here in the frame. Uh, hard, probably hard to see on camera, but first of all, there's just dust everywhere. This gun doesn't get used very much. But down inside there, there's just all kinds of grime. Now, like I said, I won't go into all the details on how to completely disassemble this in this video. So we'll get there just like that. So the gun is good and disassembled now. And just a couple of things to note. I did not remove my sights and I'm not going to worry about that. And then a couple of things I'm not going to run in the ultrasonic because I can just give them a quick wipe off. One is this grip plug, which just goes in there. It's not even an original part of the gun. I just purchased that. And then the other is this little plastic shroud that goes over the firing pin. I'll just wipe that off and not put it in the ultrasonic. Now to get the parts in there, for the smallest pieces, I'm actually going to put them in this little plastic jar. So things like this, uh, little springs, any of these little tiny things I'll put in there. And they will still get cleaned because the ultrasonic waves will work right through this plastic. When I do my black powder guns, I do the same thing, all the little screws and stuff. So that's where we'll put all the tiny things. I think uh, pretty much everything else can go in the main basket. So I'm going to pull out the basket that the parts will go in. It's dripping wet, but that's quite all right. Everything's going to get wet anyway. And we'll just put the slide right there. I'm even going to put the frame in. I took everything out of the frame, put it right down in there. And just all these other larger parts just into the basket. There's the barrel. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything here. And then that is all ready to go into the ultrasonic. All right, now I've already added water to the ultrasonic machine and I filled it just about to the fill line. That's plenty for what I'm doing. This right here is the temperature display. On the right, it says the water is currently 40 degrees Celsius. It's, it's already warm because I put it in warm. This is what the temperature is set to. So I'm just going to move that number up also to 40 so it will just hold it at about that temperature. And then for solution, I'm using this simple green all-purpose cleaner. I've also used Dawn dish soap, and that's Dawn dish soap that I usually use on black powder guns. Now you'll see I'm very precise about the exact amount of simple green that I use. About like that. That's perfect. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. It's not critical. Uh, you can read ratios that are good to use, but I just put a good splash of it in my water, and we're good to go. So now... Let's go ahead and take the basket of parts and lower it down in. Keep them somewhat separated and off of each other. And then this little jar, I'll just kind of mix the water around with. And then I'm just going to scoop some up, about like that. And what I'll usually do is give it uh, just a little bit of a shake, get it into all the little nooks and crannies. And then that will just float there during the cleaning process. And as I said, it works right through the plastic. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, one reason I moved from my old ultrasonic to this one is because the old one could only do eight minute washes. Granted, you could do as many of those as you like, but this one can go all the way up to half an hour. I'm actually gonna set this cleaning to be a 20 minute cleaning. I won't make you watch that whole time. I'll just bring you back when it's done. So I've got my temperature where it needs to be. I've got it set for 20 minutes. So we'll just push start and off it goes. All right, 
Now the next step is going to be to take the parts out and dry them. And to dry them, I'll be using an air compressor like this. But first, let's just take a look at how some of these parts came out. Here's the frame. And I know the camera hardly does justice, but, and it's hard to tell when it's sopping wet, but it looks much, much cleaner in there. Really anxious to see the slide. So let's pull that out. And hard to tell too much when it's wet, but down in those grooves, it sure looks a lot cleaner than it did before. So I'm gonna take the air compressor, and when you do this, you need to really make sure you get all the water out. Obviously, you don't want water in your gun where it could end up causing rust. And if you use the air compressor, if you watch this, see, that takes all that water out virtually instantly. Get all the notes. And I'm just going to repeat all this off camera on all the parts until the whole thing is dry. Now all the parts are washed and dried, and I just want to reiterate, uh, reiterate rather one more time, make sure everything is thoroughly, thoroughly dried. You do not want water left over inside of any of these parts. And if you don't have an air compressor like you saw me using, a hair dryer works. I've seen a lot of people do that. It takes a lot longer. And really an air compressor doesn't have to cost very much. I'm using a pretty big one, but you can get little ones that are good enough for a job like this at places like Harbor Freight. And I've seen them for sale as low as $40 to $50. So if you're buying an ultrasonic cleaner, that may be something that you want to keep in mind. Now the next step is reassembling and oiling and or greasing the parts that need to be lubricated. Now on a Glock, as long as you got everything dried thoroughly, there's really not much that needs to be oiled and otherwise lubricated. And most of these internal parts don't need any at all. In fact, they run better if they are not, because if you do put oil on parts that don't need it, think about it, it allows dust and lint and other things to stick to the gun and cause more problems than what it's helping. Now, I'm going to get this reassembled to the point of field stripping, and then I'll show you where I put the lubrication. But there is one internal part that I want to show now, and there are lots of different products you can use for the lube. I've had good success with this Hoppies Number no. 9 oil. Uh, CLP is a good one. Ballistol is a good one. And today I'm going to show you a, a way that doesn't get shown all that much, though, and that is to use grease instead of oil. And on a Glock, I found that this works very, very well. Now, normally I like to use Tetra grease, and it's easy to find in stores. Just look for Tetra grease. But I don't have any with me today, so I'm going to use this Thompson Center Super Lube, and it's made for firearms and other things like choke tubes and gun actions. So it'll work. And the only internal part that I want to grease now is where the trigger bar contacts the trigger connector. These two parts rub together just like this as the gun is fired. So what I'll do is take this grease. Oh, I'm almost out of this one too. Let's squeeze some out the end. That's actually a lot. I just want a little drop of it like that. And I'm just going to take the bar and just rub it on there the way they would rub together when they're working. And that's good enough. Now for the rest of the internal parts, I'll just get it up to the point of field strip just like that. Now, I've got the gun back to field stripped condition, so we're now down to the reassembled slide assembly and looking much, much cleaner than it did at the beginning of the video. Recoil spring, barrel, and then the frame, and that is definitely looking much better down in here than it was at the beginning of the video. Now for the rest of the lube, again, there is not much to do on a Glock. This recoil spring, I don't even do anything with. On the frame, I'm going to take my grease, and I'll just squeeze a little bit, get it started coming out, and I just put a little dot like that on the front of each of these four rails that the slide rides on. Oh, got a little much on that one. And the alternative to putting it on those four rails is you could just put some in the grooves of the slide that the uh, that ride on the rails. And if I were using an oil like Hoppies Number no. 9 or Ballistol or something like that, that is what I would do as I've done in another cleaning video before. Now on the barrel, I'm going to take some and put it right down in this little groove, and that's going to ride on this block right here. And the, another alternative, you could just put some grease there. But what I typically do is I'll just put some, right? Oh, that's even more than I wanted. Then I'll use the nozzle of the tube to just sort of work that side to side. 
That's a little more than I wanted, but I think it's going to work fine. And then also on the barrel, right up here, this barrel's in good shape. You don't really see a lot of wear marks on it yet, but it does rub on the edges of this hole right here as the slide goes back and forth. So what I'll do is I'll just put a few dots of grease. One there, there, there. And I don't need to go down any farther. Down here, none of this metal down here makes any contact with other metal. Just from about here up to the muzzle. And then I'm just going to rub that around just staying up here. Again, I'm not putting any down here on the other end of the barrel. Just up in here. That's even a bit more than I want. I've got a little towel over here. Put off my fingers, just get a little bit of that excess off. Doesn't take much to do the job. And then, just put the barrel back into the slide. Recoil spring back in where it goes. Slide goes back on the frame and the gun is back to working condition. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video demonstration today of the ultrasonic cleaning machine on the old Glock 19. Don't forget to check the description to see the videos on how to disassemble and reassemble this gun. And if you like this machine, there will also be a video to it down there in the description. Please don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And other things you'll find in the description are where to find me on social media and great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.